All right, guys, so let's move on here. Let's move on to another topic that kind of stumped me a little bit when I first started working with programming from here, okay? And this is the concept of classes. So let's go ahead and make a new file here, and we're going to call this classes.py, okay? So first up here, what is the purpose of a class, okay? Well, you can think of a class, think of it like a, a good way that I really started using classes for the first time in my own kind of develop here is when I was trying to make this kind of goofy little game here, and I had enemy spawning scene here. And this is just going to kind of be me typing out here. You guys don't have to type this out. So basically, I have like enemy one here, and what does each enemy have? Each enemy have his has his health. Uh, enemy two, or excuse me, enemy one has his uh, hit points or whatever. Enemy one also has his inventory. Enemy one also has his. I don't know his speed. So I had all these variables that were being declared here, and really it was the and really it was of the same enemy from here, and it was kind of weird because then I had like you know enemy two, and I had go health. Health, man, I can't type. <laughs> health, uh, enemy two, speed, and like all this stuff here. So I was like, man, like it would be good if I could group all of this together inside of one thing here. And that's essentially what a class does here. A class is another type of variable that isn't a number. It's not a string here. It's basically a variable that you kind of create on your own here, right? So an object is an instance of a class from here. And in fact, we already worked with classes already. And in fact, we actually already worked with classes before, and with that you guys even know in here, if I said num1 equals 1, and I said print, and I said type, and I said num1, and I save this file from here, and I go ahead and go down to my terminal, Python, classes, and I run this here, you can see that the class is of integer from here. So these classes like int, float, string here, they're already built in the Python, we don't have to define them here. But if we want to build something more here, we have to find our own classes, okay? So let's go ahead, why don't we leave that there, that's okay for right now here. So first up here, let's go and call a class of type player. Then notice the capital P there. That's generally how you define it here. And I'm going to say uh, def uh, underscore underscore here. So the key to the right of the zero key on your keyboard here in it. And then two more underscores from there here. And that means that this function is going to run when we call, when we create an object uh, of type player. Okay. And we're going to say self. Each player needs a name here. Each player needs a score and some health too. Okay colon here now what we're going to say is we're going to say self dot name and we're going to set this equal to name self oops enter self dot score there we go equals score self dot health equals health all right we're going to give ourselves a little bit of room here now this is basically saying how we want the class to be constructed okay now if i want to make an instance of the class here this is essentially the blueprint now let's go ahead and make this one we're going to call this one p1 this is for the first player here and we're going to say player and we're going to pass in the information that we want to give it that we want to create that we want to use when we create it here this guy's name will be something like head or uh headshot headshot his score will be 36 here his health Maybe there's some random, some probability on here. Zero to 100, he starts off with like 87 health here. And what I can do is now I can access different properties about this individual player from here. So I could say something like print, and I could say something like p1.name. And I could say print, p I can't type, <laughs> print, p1.score. Print, p1.health. And then I save this file from here, and I run it back. And now I have all this information at my disposal from here. Let's say that player one gets hit. And I can say something like um, p1.score minus, I'm sorry, minus equals, man, minus equals, there we go, 10. And if I print out the p1.score again, score, and I save this and I run this back here, now you see that his score changes from here, right? I guess that should be technically health. He got hit, so we take away 10 health points save right kind of like that there and this gets into more like like if i know how many players are on scene here if i only deal with two players or one player and two enemies here it's kind of easy enough for me to declare all these variables separately here but if i'm downloading stuff from a database or if i have a bunch of things in scene here it's actually easier to organize your information into this here so all of these attributes live on this this class from here now if i was to make a new one i could say something like p2 and i could equal player and i'm going to say his name is now i don't know what's a good name here uh i can never think of a good name on the spot i don't know like wing king 87 and we'll say something like his uh his score is 50 but you know what because of the probability he only has his health starts off at 75 from here and we'll say something like you know if p2 is p2 dot health 
why don't we say, why don't we do like this? P2.score is greater than P1.score. We'll say, oops, man, colon. We'll print out P2.name is the winner. And then we'll say something like else print P1.name is the winner. So you can see it now we're comparing different attributes about these individual instances, the objects of this class from here. This is the blueprint. This is an instance of that blueprint from here, okay? So we can see that this is like the blueprint from here, and then this is the individual instance of that blueprint here. It would be like if you had a blueprint for a car where this car maybe has 100,000 miles on it already, and this car only has 50,000 miles on it. Even though they're built exactly the same here, they have different attributes about them that make them different here. So accessing these attributes from here, and then we're comparing them, right? So we say Python, actually up, enter, whoops, up, up, enter. Now we can see that this guy is the winner, which there should be a space right there here, because his score is higher. All right. So hopefully that makes some sense here. Classes allow you to organize information in one, uh, in a little bit different way here. Okay. So guys, great job this video. Fantastic. And I will see you guys in the next one.